my name is Wendy and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another finished blouse uh, video to share with you. Um, I've got three blouses which I've made in the month of February and all the fabrics that I have used have been from Pound Fabrics. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them or anything like that. I bought all the material myself. It just so happens that all these three blouses are made um, with fabric from Pound Fabrics. So I'll lead, leave all the links to Pound Fabrics and the fabrics that I use down below. So the first one which I made in the month of February is this McCall's pattern. It is McCall's M7325 and this was um, a pattern which I think my boss bought me for Christmas and the version that I made is this one here this one here this takes quite a lot of fabric because it's it's very got a lot of ruffles gathers in it there and the sleeves are quite big so um, I made size XL um, so let me show you this is the pattern that I use and this is what I made so this is the shirt here or blouse I used this really funky uh, fabric it's a viscose chalet um, and it is called wildlife viscose chalet and it was £2.50 a metre and it comes in two different colourways it comes in this blue and it comes in a brown as well so first of all onto the actual pattern I made a size XL um, I found that the neck um, was a little bit too big and I've actually you can see there I've sort of um, had to take up take it up here sort of like on the, the shoulder line here because this was just too big and scoopy also um, this annoys me this sort of like flops about here I don't know if I should have put an interfacing inside it didn't ask for an interfacing um, it has got its own uh, back facing in the same fabric Maybe I'll just slightly turn it in there and top stitch it so that it will stay upright. But it does annoy me a bit that it flops. <laughs> um, I also thought that the split down the front here was too low. Um, and next time I make it, I will make it a little bit higher. And maybe if the split is higher, the, that will stay closed more better. So that's that. Um, but... <laughs> As regards to the actual pattern works out really easy and it fits me perfectly all around um, the Empire line and length and sleeves and everything which are just elasticated cuffs Whoops. so onto the fabric this magnificent fabric from Poundland fabrics I did make sure make sure that I sort of like pattern matched it so that I had these two leopard spots here um, and the leopard spot on the, the chest here and then on these two front panels here but just really easy to make two sleeves a front a back and a front and a really really easy so I, I would love to make um, from this pattern again um, but I would certainly address the neck and chest area maybe I went up a size too big maybe if it's a size small it might sit better I'm not sure but then I'd be worried that it was too tight across here so that's my first one that's my first one which I absolutely love um, I've worn it a few times out and the first time I wore it out I went to um, a do locally um, it was a song night and a lady came up to me and asked me where I bought it from and when I told her I made it she asked me if I could make her one <laughs> to which I declined because I said no no I'm just just about getting my head around doing it myself let alone for anybody else, it'd just be too much stress. So that's that one. Oh, and if you're interested in what I'm wearing, this is also from Pound Fabrics. This is Busy Mini Orange Floral Viscose Chalet, and it is also £2.50 a metre. This is the navy version, and there's also um, a red version, which is called Rust. So that's that. So the second blouse that we're going to go on to for February is this one. This is Butterick 
B6855. Now, my, my notes on the back say, pain in the blip, blip, blip to make. Unclear instructions, neckline too wavy, shoulders too wide, wide. didn't make the cuff pleat because I didn't understand the instructions. So yes, sorry Butterick, you let me down a bit there, didn't find it an easy pattern to follow. However, it turned out very lovely. So here we go. This is the finished version here. This is what I used. So this fabric is called Navy Clover Leaf on Beige and it is £2.50 a metre. What I liked about this blouse was the cuffs. So this was my first attempt at making um, uh, buttonholes. Well, I mean, I've made buttonholes before and I used to do dressmaking 35 years ago, but I haven't done them this year. So it was a bit of a, and there's four on each cuff, so it was eight. So I had a good practice beforehand. Um, so this is the fabric. It's very nice and flowy. Um, the pattern has this. Now, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if, but this, the band, the neck and chest band seems too big for the insert here and it sort of sticks out and it was a bit wavy so I've had to press the life out of it to sort of like try and make it curve in a bit. Um, it also has this pleat there um, and it has a yoke at the back and it's got um, uh, gathers along there um, and I really like it. It really flows nicely. I just love the cuffs. I made this for the cuffs, the long cuffs. Um, but yeah, I don't, know if, I don't know why I go for these patterns that have it. Whenever I go for these patterns that have got this V bit and you t I struggle, I struggle, struggle with the instructions and struggle on putting it together. So yeah, so that's that one. So that is the Butterick B6855 made in uh, a Visco Shelly, which drapes really nicely. So that's that one. So, the third one that I made is, now I think this pattern is McCall's M7904 and I think I bought this pattern on the Minerva website when the McCall's patterns were 50% off and I think on there at the moment um, it's Butterick patterns are 50% off. I think they are on, is it So Direct or So Essentials? But definitely on Minerva as well. It seems like when one of them has 50% off, the others all follow. So this is what I used here. So this is more of a structured shirt. Um, so the, um, the, the thing for me was the collar. Again, I haven't done a collar for 35 years. So I was a bit like, let's go for it. So this, this is the finished project. I think I did the collar rather well. It actually was easier than what I expected and it turned out really well. Now, I did have to um, resize up the pattern. I had to size up, uh, grade up two sizes. That took me a day to do that. Um, so I was really sort of like deflated, like, oh, it's just taking so long, you know, just to grade up a pattern. But it worked out fine it, and it fits me perfectly. So I'm really pleased, really easy pattern considering the day it took me to grade up, but I've done it now. And it was just a really simple pattern. This fabric is Lucy's Flower Garden Poly Cotton um, and it is £2.25 a metre. Now I did ask on my last video when I showed the two poly cottons that I had, what could I make there? I've never made anything with poly cotton before and so many people suggested you need something like um, a shirt because it's more structured or a dress and that is what I did. So thank you very much for all of those that commented, take it all on board and that's what I made. I made this, um, this more of a shirt type blouse than a blouse if you know what I mean. 
So um, I'll definitely make this again. I thought the collar, the collar has, it has a collar stand and a collar. It's got all the buttons um, all the way down it, which again, I've already had my practice um, on the cuffs on the previous one. So I was really good at that. It sewed like a dream. It really was nice to sew. It didn't fray that much. I don't have an overlocker. The only thing that I just did on this pattern was that I didn't, I didn't put, um, uh, a, uh, a button on the cuff I just made it into a like closed off cuff like that and didn't do the vent either because I just couldn't be bothered and I thought what's the point so yeah that's that yeah so it's just a very there's no darts in this at all no no back pleats no back darts no bust darts nothing like that so that's why I wanted to try this it's just a really basic sort of shirt and I love it I love it so the two blouses that I love the most are the McCall's ones, so it looks like McCall's is, is my bag or my jam for the pattern. So that is the three things that I made. So let me know which is your favourite um, and um, I will hopefully have some more. Uh, I will be sewing like mad in March and have some more things to show you in March. So I'll leave all the links below to all the patterns and all the fabrics. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've made in the month of February. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.